আপনারা দেখছেন মিউজিক্যাল শো মিউজিক অ্যান্ড আড্ডা সৌজন্যে জয় লুকাস ওয়ার্ল্ডস ফেভারেট জুয়েলার গ্রিন স্ট্রিট এবং বিজনেস ফোরাম We are back again and I have seen this video on the video and I have seen this video on the video. This video is not actually what I want to say. Where was it made? Where did you again? That was a wonderful video. Thank you Andhiri so much. Rath. It's a bit dark. Um, yeah. It was from my album, Leila, the yeah. Andhiri Rath. Um, the video was produced by Toby Gorman, who is doing a lot of Bollywood productions, films right now, uh, doing very well, and his wife, um, Mithil Gorman. And so she had the concept. Uh, she loved the song. And so she wanted to produce the video and uh, she did an amazing job. I heard there was a lot of creativity from your side as well. My in terms side, of I guess the movements. <laughs> yeah, the movements. And yeah, the movements and, you know, uh, mm. it, it's, it's, a bit, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a bit mad. So I came up with all the dance moves and it was all one take. Um, it wasn't, uh, you know, th that many takes. So, so I think they were really gobsmacked. All the moves was taken on one take? Yeah, m the, my moves, my, uh, yeah, because yeah. Um, I was given, because the whole power packed <coughs> the story about the story as well about Adhiri Rath is about a woman that gets married mm. which happens in a lot in our society and then um, the guy he, he leaves her basically on the wedding night mm. and uh, well, no, it doesn't happen that doesn't happen on <laughs> a lot <laughs> but um, it's just about a woman that's basically um, you know her husband her, her partner has left mm. uh, her, her her partner has left yeah, her, her, yes. Yeah. And um, so uh, basically she has this vision. So she goes a bit mental because he's left her in the jungle. Yeah. And um, so she just has this bed and, you know, and they, it was supposed like to be very romantic. Kind of really yeah, nice, it was supposed to be know. a very romantic yeah. uh, kind of um, uh, uh, scenario, etc. So um, basically that doesn't happen. So she goes a bit loopy. So the whole uh, performance of where she's singing the at the darkest of night, I'm thinking about you. And then the dance, the movements is me portraying the mad side of a woman when she loses her partner yeah. so I think it was very deep and it has a deep message and at night is when our horrors um, our nightmares haunt us it is at night when we go to sleep we see bad uh, dreams etc so I think that was the concept of the whole and Rath and it was produced by oblique cuts um, well you you're a very creative person I mean you. uh, your vocal is mashallah fantastic Thank and you. it's all over the world now you moved I've just seen on the <laughs> video <laughs> well, what well, else do you three do? years you, ago you write songs as well well? I write and compose all my songs. So I composer. have done every single one of them myself, yes. Um, How many songs have you uh, Oh wrote God, I, I can't count. But so many. I mean, you've worked on more than 40 Hollywood My movies. vocals are featured in over, yeah. yes. Um, uh, and one of them, uh, the biggest one is obviously Charlie's Angels. Uh, and uh, What was closer. it like working uh, in Charlie's Angels? It was what they did, Shuman. They actually used my chant of Smack My Witch Up in mm. the movie, mm. so, uh, which was wonderful. And apparently, um, uh, Drury, um, uh, was it Cameron Drury, I think uh, the other one, oh, I've forgotten the name now. Um, they specifically chose that chant for that scene, so okay. it was absolutely amazing. And um, um, I was really honored, actually, because she really loved, uh, you know. So I, I was when I found out about it, I was just really, really so pleased. And Closer, and so many different T Tell movies. me about Smack My Beach Up. I mean, it, it created a lot of controversy, and there yes, was a lot did. of issues, yeah, and a yeah. and lot of... Uh, um, women were against it as well. I think uh, the women's organizations, yes, they were, but it, was, it had nothing to do with me. Uh, my collaboration was with the Prodigy. They're the biggest dance sort of uh, giants of electronica music. Um, and the album, uh, Fat of the Land, uh, won, was number one in over 24 countries. Um, it, uh, you know, whatever the controversies, etc. That was that was the whole. It was the package that the that prodigy went out. Yeah. yeah, went with them. My work obviously was uh, the chant which I created on mm. Smack My Bitch Up. So um, you know, and the, it, it's been and a phenomenal this was success. Smack My Bitch Up was your real break. 
breakthrough. It was break it? my breakthrough. Yes, yeah. it was. Uh, yeah. Before that, I had released a single uh, with Taz from Stereo Nation. I just released my mm. first single was Jind Meriye. Mm. He was called John Izzy at that time. Then I worked with Kuljit Bhamra of Kedar Records, mm. and um, that's when the call came for mm. the uh, for the Prodigy, etc. And um, then what I was your feeling? How did you feel? Like, oh, I was. I was call? obviously. You see, Vishwamin, it was really strange because when the call had come through, um, I knew that the the head of the record company had called uh, Kuljit Bhamra. I said, look, we want to speak to Shaheen Badr. And then after that, they had heard me. Akinavas of the Fundamentals mentioned uh, uh, to them about me. So they, they used to see me perform live. I was doing like every weekend. I was in every single mela. Um, I was just everywhere, really. And um, um, then when, when the call was, um, uh, when I, I got the call, then um, I was asked to actually ask, sorry, to actually send the, uh, the demo tape, and then you know used to get like small demo tapes. So I sent the cassette over, and it was really, really weird because when you listen to the uh, listen to the the first part of of, uh, of the, the tape, tape yeah. yeah, the tape. It, it starts off with my vocals, which says Allah. It was a big chant. It was a massive chant, which I had done. Mm. It was for one of my tracks at the time. And mm. then after about two minutes or so, uh, or three minutes, the whole tape is actually smashed up, yeah. you know, with, with the squiggly yeah, bit. So it doesn't play properly. So it doesn't play properly. <laughs> and I thought, oh my good Lord, because that was the only demo I had on that tape. I didn't have it anywhere. I didn't have time to give them because they wanted it straight away on that week. So I said, look, guys, I'm going to send you this tape, but it's not. But it was really, I think that that's the part that they heard. And I think it just, um, and they, they called me back and they said, we love it. So then I got, was called um, uh, to meet the prodigy. Uh, and uh, then I created the well, chant. What was it like? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, you know, uh, it was the week before I went to see the boys, um, uh, I was telling my mother because it was, she was on the screen. We used to watch Top of the Pops, and I said, "Mommy, this is the kind of band I so want to work." So a week before you were talking about <laughs> them, <and you> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like a few weeks because obviously uh, I think they had one of the tracks out at that time, uh -huh. and um, uh, you know, I saying, "Mommy, this is the kind of bands I want." I think it was Breathe or it might be Firestart. One of them was out, and uh, my mother said, "Are you crazy? You know, are you going to you know you're going to work with such a crazy band?" And then after that, uh, yeah, it was them that I was, you know. Well, that's really good, and congratulations to you. Yeah. You're a superstar now. <laughs> Let's uh, have a look at another video of yours, okay. which is uh, called Hayat. Yeah, I want to have a look at this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to music and Adda right now. I'm going to have a look at Shilpi Shahin Badarir music video, Hayati.
Beautiful location, a wonderful <sighs> track, and you. the video was awesome. Thank you. How did that happen? Where did it happen? Um, this was in Mumbai and at Haji Ali uh, Darga. So uh, we shot the video, and it was actually with a, um, a really legendary um, sort of uh, uh, an act called Ja Wobble and Temple of Sound. Mm -hmm. uh, so then we released this um, Hayati as the uh, first track on, on their album called Shout at the Devil. Okay. So um, and uh, he he was he was he's very famous. He was from the Invaders of the Hearts mm -hmm. <coughs> from that band uh, Ja Wobble. So um, yeah, so it was it was really good. So it was years ago, when he released album in UK and mm. uh, also in India. Yeah, I mm. mean, wh where do you see you doing well in India or? Uh? I I'm I'm a fusion artist. Uh, you know, I'm an electronica dance um, sort of music, trance, uh, drum and bass, that kind of an artist. Yeah. So I mean, that's the kind of genre of music that I would sort of go out for now mm. and um, collaborate with, work on um, just EDM but you music. That's a totally so different contract because obviously India. I mean, I don't know about their contract system, but here yeah. you get a lot of royalty and a lot of stuff. Lot yes, of yes, yes. But like you see, that doesn't happen all the time in India, and oh. that's where uh, it. It. Uh, I think the system has started now, mm. and things have changed. Uh, but still, it is different, and they don't really accept. Uh, uh, EDM electronic dance music mm. so quickly as um, they do possibly here in England. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they still need that time in India too because I went to about four con four four record companies. They said, "Well, Shaheen, if you can do if you do, can do a cover version and mix it with some dance music," and I'm like, "Dude, I don't want to do that. This is the sound you need to release." <laughs> <laughs> and he, they, they were like, no, but we love so you. And like we want you to dancey, do Bollywood stuff, Bollywood dancey, style. and you know the whole mini skirts and that. I said that's never going to happen for me. So um, then, shove. <laughs> so um, I come back to England. So you know, it's England, it's, um, England is a place to I be. I love England. I yeah. love, this is my home. I love the people here. I, lo I love my fans and my friends, and I, they, you know, and I love India as well. I think India is is a it's it's a wonderful territory to explore. Um, you know, I performed with Hardcore as well. You know, uh, we were doing, and she's become big there, so it's great. I know you love India, you love England, and you also love another country, which I'm going to mention right after the break. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> she knows, <laughs> she my shock, she knows my secret. She knows my secret. And we'll be back <laughs> after the break. Musical show, music and adda. Shoujo ne Joy Lucas, world's favorite jeweler, Green Street. Ibong, business forum. 